presents the most powerful sport on earth, the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. Power Tracks is brought to you by the Heartbeat of America, today's Chevy truck. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Power Tracks on ESPN. I'm Richard Leake, and with me is Army Armstrong. We're doing something a little bit different in 1989. We're reviewing TNT Motorsports Points Championships, won by truck and tractor pullers and monster truck racers during 1988. Today, we're going to review the wild and wicked racing on the 1988 Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. Richard, when we return from our commercial break, we're going to see how a young rookie driver out of the state of Minnesota named Rod Litzow overcame all the odds to whip the strongest field of veteran monster truck drivers ever gathered in the country on the Renegade TNT Championship. 1988, TNT created a new motorsport, monster truck racing, and we'll be back in just a moment to show you all the action. Rod Litzow had never raced a monster truck before. He made his debut this evening, and he gave us a glimpse of things to come. Well, Richard, vehicle breakage is a big part of the monster truck sport. These trucks take a tremendous amount of pounding. And when they do, a lot of points can change hands and be made up. Now, Bigfoot driver Rich Hoosier came into Hampton with a substantial points lead. But as you're about to see, breakage by the Bigfoot truck and the grave digger of Dennis Anderson opened the door for Litzow in his first win. Back in Hampton, Virginia, ready for the semifinals, but you guys won't be there, Army. Bigfoot got beat by just showing off, but now he can't make it. Just received word, Hoffaker did severe damage to the rear suspension on the just showing off. He lost his rear steer, and Bigfoot goes out by losing the front steer on the truck. All right, so these guys, though, are in the semifinals. Local favorite, hero, grave digger, that is Dennis Anderson. Up against the rookie driver, Rod Litzow, in the USA 1 machine, waiting for the green to go off right now as the two are lined up side by side. First round of semifinal action. Litzow trying to make a name for himself right out of the box a little out of shape. Anderson takes advantage of it, Richard, and he's trying to leave him and Litzow's in trouble. Anderson won't quit. He goes after him. Dennis Anderson is going to get the win over Rod Litzow in the USA 1 machine. The local favorite may have trouble. You see smoke coming out of the back, though, right there of the grave digger machine. Smoke uh, coming out of the rear compartment where his engine is. Let's go trackside with Army Armstrong and Dennis Anderson. Well, Dennis Anderson with the grave digger. He is going into the final, but it looks like it cost us something. We noticed the rear suspension got a lot of oil or grease coming out back here. Do you have any idea what it is, Dennis? Yeah, I think I just wasted my motor. I might have thrown a rod in it, and I've just I, when I pulled up here, I noticed I lost oil pressure, and so I'm out now. Well, we're going to have to wait and see a tough break, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis Anderson with a grave digger doing a super job in front of his own hometown crowd. Let's hope he can get back in this thing. Good luck, Dennis. Well, Army, we just got word that, in fact, Dennis Anderson won't be back. That means the USA 1 machine right there of Rod Litzow, the rookie driver, moves to the finals against the winner of this matchup. And this is interesting, Carolina Crusher, which has won every one of his races tonight, up against King Crunch, who has yet to win a race. King Crunch hasn't won a race yet, but everybody that beats him, they break when they beat him, and he advances up into their spot. And on a foggy night, there you see the local driver, Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger, going slowly to his grave with a blown motor, not in the finals tonight for Dennis Anderson. But these two guys are fighting to get to the finals. We're waiting for the green light to fall, and there it is, and off goes the Carolina Crusher. What a hole shot again, working the left side earlier. Porter told us the left to place the goal. He's proven it. Seaman's trying to come back on him. I don't believe he's going to hold him off, Richard. The Carolina Crusher sets up an old Jubilee final. All right, it is Gary Porter, the winner, over King Crunch and Scott Stevens. So now Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher moves into the finals against the USA 1 machine, the rookie driver, uh, driver Rod Litzow. And earlier today, Army Armstrong spent some time with Rod talking about his machine. Let me ask you, since it's going to be the first time out in the truck, you've got to be a little apprehensive this afternoon. We've got a 7.30 start here chasing these renegade points. What's going through your mind? How do you prepare? You're a long way from home. You've got about, what, $100,000 worth of another man's equipment. What's going through your mind right now? Nervous, real nervous right now. Just psych myself up. Just, that's all I put on my mind is what I'm going to do out there, try to put everything else out of my mind. In what capacity have you been around the monster trucks? Oh, well, I was a custom painter, and I've taken care of the paintwork, just traveled with it putting the tires on. I was, a, you know, one of the crew for about six of those years. The new kid on the block is coming after the old hired guns. He's going to see if he can battle with the big boys tonight, chasing these renegade points. 
All right, Army, so on a foggy night here in Virginia, we're ready to crown the king. USA 1 against Carolina Crusher. They're off. Side by side, Chevrolet final. Here we go. Richard, the first jump. USA 1 with a bit of a lead. Now the Crusher starts to come back on him. They're lining up for the second jump of cars. I don't know. They're both a little bit off course. And across the finish line, who was it? It looked like perhaps on the inside, USA 1 had the uh, little bit of an edge, but we're going to have to wait for the official word. Did Rod Litzow win his first ever race as a rookie driver? Yes, he did tonight. He's down with Army Armstrong. This is your first time to drive the truck. You go right out top. You beat the best in the country. Congratulations to you from all the fine people at Renegade. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without everyone behind me that built the truck and that. The truck's run, running really good. It's designed to do this, and we're going from here. There's a good start. We're going. No, it was a great start. As you see the replay, Rod Litzow, the first time in USA 1, he was the winner at the finish line. A photo finish for him, but heartbreak for others tonight as the grave digger, the local favorite Dennis Anderson, broke down. He went out, and Bigfoot, your national points leader, went out also. But the strong survive, and they'll be back, and we'll be back with more Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge races in the future. So Rod Litzow takes a giant leap toward the national title by winning his first ever monster truck race. You know, our ESPN cameras couldn't be at every Renegades TNT race in 1988. There were 60 races overall. We're showing you some of the highlights. And when we return from this commercial break, you'll be seeing monster truck action in Charleston, West Virginia. An earn the points title. Nobody gave it away. Rich Hoosier and Bigfoot may have had a big lead at one time, but they didn't roll over and play dead. Richard and Charleston, Bigfoot and USA 1 made it to the championship round. By this time in the season, USA 1 was gaining ground on Bigfoot by the truckloads, and Hoosier was laying it all on the line to put the big blue Ford back in a winter circle. Here's how we call all the action at Charleston. And back in Charleston, West Virginia, this capacity crowd is waiting for exactly what we are. The final round, the monster mash-off, the crowning of the champion, and tonight it's what they all want. Rich Hoosier in the Bigfoot Ford going up against Rod Litzow in the USA 1 Chevrolet and Army. These two guys are not only battling for the points championship right now, they have got an intense rivalry between them. You know, they're very friendly before they get in those vehicles, but as soon as they strap in, believe me, one of them is representing the Ford camp. That'll be Hoosier representing Bob Chandler's operation, currently on top of the monster truck pile. But out of the coal country, Everett Gasmer has teamed up with Litzow to put a late season charge on to put Chevrolet on top of the monster truck pile. They can really close a gap right here. Like I say, away from the trucks, they're best of friends. But right now, you're looking at a street fight. First one that can get the other one's throat on this run is going to do it. This is what it's all about. Winner or loser, Chevrolet or Ford, side by side. The crowd is really getting into it. We're going back topside for you to give all the action, Rich. Well, besides the Ford Chevy battle, you got a battle of pride. The pride of Rich Hoosier, the current national points leader against the pride of the rising star, Rod Litzow out of Spring Lake, Minnesota, waiting for the green light to fall and does their off. Hoosier had to put a whole shot on him. He did exactly what he had to do. Hoosier working a right lane to perfection. A little bit out of shape as the USA won. Hoosier keeping a four straight. Four looks like to take the win, Richard. It is Rich Hoosier as Rod Litzow problem there got a little squirrely on the course that has cost him the win your champion again the ford of rich hoosier and the bigfoot machine the crowd absolutely loving it especially the ford fans but then again the chevrolet fans have nothing to be ashamed of as you see rod litzow about ready to jump out of that monster chevrolet usa one let's go track side with army well, ladies and gentlemen, what a final. These fellas put on a super job. The temperature all afternoon, about 110 degrees. It didn't seem to affect you guys at all. Congratulations, Rich Hoosier, on a well-deserved win. Thank you very much, Army. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, it was a great run. After last night, uh, I had to put my foot in it all the way, and that's what I did. Well, Rod, I tell you what, you and the Chevrolet teamed up with the True Value Master Mechanic team. You're right up in the middle of this thing. Congratulations on a super run and a second-place finish. Thank you, Army. That was a tough run on that last one. That, that was a pretty rough track back there. I knew it was going to be, you know, all as hard as we could go. <laughs> it was kind of like a crap shoot. When the white went green, they went full boogaloo. Four takes away tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Average even on the Renegade Tour.
Well, a great night in Charleston, West Virginia, and once again, the rivalry intensifies the Ford against the Chevrolet. This night, it was Ford having the best of it, with Bigfoot being crowned your champion over USA 1 and the Chevrolet Army. The tour moves on now. Who's going to win this national championship, Richard? It's still a toss-up. So Bigfoot won it in Charleston, but Rod Litzow soon began to dominate. It was never more evident than in Nashville, Tennessee, where he earned the maximum amount of points available in two races. Now, points are awarded not only for winning, but for having fastest qualifying time and fastest competition times. Litzow did all of those things in Nashville, Army. Richard, this was the fastest course we've had all year long. A long straightaway with low ramps over the junk cars. This kind of track favors the USA 1 Chevrolet. It's just the right combination of power and weight and maneuverability. Here's the way we call the USA 1 semifinal and championship rounds Saturday night in Nashville, Tennessee. And here's what we're going to find out about right now, Army. The ultimate matchup, Chevrolet against Ford. USA 1, second in the national points race, going up against Bigfoot, the national points leader. And here is something that is a shocker to me. As they are coming to the line, it looks like Rod Litzow is going to be on the right side of the track. Now, he said earlier the left side was the best lane. What's going on here? I tell you, it has you confused. Think what it has, Rich. Who's your thinking right now? He thinks that Litzow's got something up his sleeve, and he just may have it. The Ford doesn't have a choice. He must go to the opposite lane, and Litzow sets on the inside with a big grin on his face. Richard going to a whole new part of the track, working the right. He said he would not be there. That's not the case. Well, I don't know what the strategy is for Rod Litzow. It could backfire on him as they're off and rolling. Oh, Litzow comes out like a rocket. Look at it. Chassis starts to unload. He lines it up. Final jump. Richard, the national championship point chase just tightened up a ton. Rod Litzow, the winner with that powerful motor. Maybe Rich Hoosier is going to have to reevaluate putting a bigger engine in that Bigfoot Ford. The fans appreciated it, but you couldn't do it tonight. The lanes are set. Dabney is pushed to the inside of the track. Let's out USA 1. What does he do? Comes right back to his old stomping grounds. He's coming back to the left side. See what's going to happen. A national point chase is really tightening up. The left lane is trying to win a championship. And look at that. He comes out Ooh, a little Sparks. bit out of shape. Sparks come off the inside. But USA 1 marches to another win, Richard. So USA 1 nearly knotted the score points-wise with that perfect win in Nashville. When we return, we'll go to Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky, where the Renegade TNT National Points Championship was decided. It was decided in October in Louisville, Kentucky's Freedom Hall. And Army Rod Litzow and USA 1 needed only to make it to the semifinal round to clinch the title. And make it he did, Richard. Ironically, the man he faced in the semifinal round was Rich Hoosier and Bigfoot. In that semifinal action, it was a wild one. Here's how we called it. And here's the excitement of the night, though. USA 1, Rod Litzow, Bigfoot, Rich Hoosier going head-to-head -head semifinal round, but this is for the national title. They've been battling all season on the Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge circuit. We spent time with them. Well, Richard, all year long, we've been talking about two fellas battling for that number one position. Rod Litzow standing on my right, Rich Hoosier standing on my left. Litzow, the USA 1 Chevrolet, the new kid on the block. Came to the circuit in Hampton, Virginia, and at that time, Rod, we did our first TV interview together. You drove your first monster truck race. You won then. You've been on a tremendous roll all year long. Do you still believe the Chevrolet can win the national championship this year? I'm hoping so. I'm doing my best. The truck's been running good. Everything's going for us. Looks good. Rich, you're on top of this thing. You've been there for many years. A lot of people feel that you're the best driver in this sport. What's he going to have to do to get past you? Uh, he's going to have to do an awful lot because uh, tonight, I say, it might all depend on this weekend show. So he's going to have to do a lot because I'm going to go all out. Well, let the show begin. It's time to crown the 1988 Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge Champion Army. For the national championship, it's one run. Chevrolet and Ford. Who's it going to be? Let's out. Nails the Chevrolet. Chevrolet takes the win. Look out. Rod Litzow incredible. on his nose, now on his side, and he is down. Rod Litzow has flipped USA 1. The first person out there is George Smith, crew chief of Bigfoot, helping Rod Litzow. They are trying to pull it. Here he comes out of the monster truck now. He appears to be okay, but he has flipped the Chevrolet, but he has won the national title. Chevrolet officially the number one monster truck in the country. What happened when he went over the last jump? The left front wheel hooked on him, tucked into the body and rolled him. 
Karat Lindau takes it on its side, but win in Freedom Hall the national title. Yeah, I, I want to jump, I want to jump on and push it back right, over. The tire started throwing in and it. I just, it just kept wrapping under. I don't know if that tire let loose and come back. I had nothing I could pull on it. Like I had nothing. It, it just hit and it just started to fold under and then oh. it just like slow motion. I was hoping to jump on and push it back over. But. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of interesting. The first man to come over and help Rod Litzow was Rick Hoosier. This was a war. The people in Louisville, Kentucky are standing up. 18,000 people just saw a tremendous event. If it's any consolation to you, that'll bump you up into the National Point League. Yeah, temporarily. But, I don't know, it was a wicked ride. <laughs> we'll let you get back to your crew. We noticed Ever Everett's over there working, but you are okay, right? Yeah, just a little stunned, but first time I ever rolled, now I can say I've done it. <laughs> well, Army, do me a favor, grab Rod and tell him the Renegade TNT officials have just informed us Rod Litzow and Everett Jasmer's USA 1 Chevrolet has done enough to capture the 1988 Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge overall championship. He is the king of kings, and if it's any consolation to Rich Hoosier and Bigfoot, he gets to race in the finals in the break rule against Steve Dane and Awesome Kong. So maybe Rich can win the championship in Louisville, but USA won the overall championship. USA won your national champion, but bragging rights are on the table now. Kong from Texas, look at this. He's in all kind of trouble. So is Bigfoot. Both drivers have a problem in the final, Richard. Neither drivers had their front wheels touching the cars like the rules specify, but in the finals, the first one across the finish line is the winner. That was Steve Dane and Awesome Kong. So Ron Litzow captured the Renegade TNT points title in 1988 aboard Everett Jasmer's USA 1 Chevrolet. Now the man he chased all summer, however, has retired. Rich Hoosier of Bigfoot announced his retirement just prior to that event, and his last race army was in Louisville. Richard, he was one of the best drivers in the sport, and a true gentleman. I asked Rich right before the Louisville event if he was serious about retiring. Yeah, it is, Army. Um, I'm retiring from uh, driving the monster trucks. Uh, it feels like I might want to go into get doing something else, more of uh, promotions or uh, sponsorships, something like that, and uh, maybe get into some PR, customer service type of uh, a job. Uh, possibly with the monster trucks and with racing, because that's what I like, and I love doing this. You know, as we travel across the country, millions and millions of people have developed a following for you. Is there anything, if you could talk one-on-one -on -one to them, you'd like to say to those people right now? The uh, main thing is just thanks for everything. It's like uh, I've had the best time in my life doing this, and all the kids and stuff, and giving autographs, and all the people just recognize me on the street. You know, you feel like a big star when mainly it's the truck, but uh, the man behind the wheel has a lot to do with it. Speaking of the man behind the wheel, is there any possibility you might be coming back into the sport in the future? Yeah, you never know. Like I said, uh, well, I'll be turning 30 this year, and uh, kind of maybe, you know, how long can you do this? Because you take a lot of abuse in these trucks. And, uh, of course, my mom wants me to settle down and get married. But uh, <laughs> you never know. You know, I might get back into it next year, maybe this year, uh, maybe a year from now. It's, it's hard to tell. I enjoy it so much. It's going to be hard to just break away from it. Let's review quickly the top five on the 1988 Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge Point Series. Fifth place went to a truck you saw earlier here, Dennis Anderson's Grave Digger out of Chesapeake, Virginia, with 161 and a half points. Fourth place was earned by Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher out of Wadesboro, North Carolina, with 172 points. Third place went to the Awesome Kong truck of Steve Dane out of Colleen, Texas, with 221 points. We'll be talking about that truck later. And Rich Hoosier and Bigfoot out of St. Louis, Missouri, led most of the year, but eventually relinquished the lead. Bigfoot earned 278 points for second place. And the Renegade TNT Monster Truck Challenge points title went to Rod Litzow driving Everett Jasmer's USA 1 Chevrolet out of Spring Lake Park, Minnesota. They accumulated 292 and a half points. And when we return, we'll tell you about what's in store for monster truck racing in 1989, and we'll take a look at some of the mishaps that occurred on the circuit in 1988. <laughs> Warm up with TNT Motorsports in the wintertime. On the weekend of January 27th through the 29th, Chevy Trucks brings the Redman TNT Pulling Series to the Wacomico County Civic Center in Salisbury, Maryland, and to Barton Coliseum in Little Rock, Arkansas. The Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series continues into February. The trucks and tractors can be found on February 3rd through 5th at the Hampton Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia, and at the Hirsch Memorial Coliseum in Shreveport, Louisiana. 
Still more Redman TNT truck and tractor pulling is scheduled for February 17th and 18th in Garrett Coliseum in Montgomery, Alabama. And on February 15th through the 18th, the oldest indoor truck and tractor pull in the nation happens at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky's Freedom Hall. The wild racing on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge continues on February 11th and 12th in the Coliseum Exhibition Place in Toronto, Canada. And on February 17th and 18th in the Mississippi Coast Coliseum in Biloxi, Mississippi. Welcome back to Power Tracks on ESPN. We've been reviewing 1988 action on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. You know, nearly all the top drivers are returning in 1989 with new and improved trucks. First, Everett Jasmer is building a second USA One truck, a 1989 Chevrolet. Rod Littell would be driving the new truck, and a driver to be named later will pilot the current USA One. Bigfoot may be without Rich Hoosier, but it has the resources to build a state-of-the-art truck army. That's exactly what they're doing, Richard. They want revenge in 1989. Bigfoot Vice President Jim Cramer told me they're working hard towards that goal. The sport, when it started to today, can you sum it up for us real quick? Uh, well, it's really progressing. Uh... Uh, more quickly, quickly than I even thought. It had a very uh, slow beginning, of course. We used to just display the trucks and then just barely drive over the cars, and now it's to an all-out racing, and it's just, uh, we're just scratching the surface in the racing field. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot more refined, more powerful trucks, a lot faster speeds. This year, a Chevrolet took the win. I know you and Bob Tanner are not going to sit still for that. What do we have down the road for the Bigfoot trucks as far as engineering and development? Oh, we're doing a lot of engineering right now and, and some uh, development of certain components to make that tr truck happen in the future. Uh, we've got three different designs. We don't know which one yet will best suit us. And uh, that's going to take a little more R&D because we're going uh, we're to take try to take a giant leap forward and, uh, and see what happens. So the truck we bring out is going to be something really different. Other new trucks to look for in 1989 include a new Carolina Crusher from Gary Porter. A brand new no-problem truck from John Moore out of Lafayette, Tennessee, and Dennis Anderson is putting together a new grave digger that promises to be as spooky and as fast as it ever was before. Richard, even though USA won captured the national title, all the guys you just mentioned are now chasing the Dane brothers out of Texas. Steve Dane drove his brother Jeff's awesome Kong to four straight wins this past fall. Here's how we call one of those wins in Montgomery, Alabama. Army, are you ready for the showdown? It is the finals. Awesome Kong, the Chevrolet against Bigfoot and the Ford. Richard, you called it a showdown. That's exactly what it is. The kid out of Texas has never beaten Jim Kramer. He wants it bad. He's going after him. Kramer knows it. He's an old pro, but Kramer's got to hold off the kid out of Texas. Richard, I don't know. Look how close it is. At the finish line, we cannot tell who won it. Let's go trackside in just a moment. Maybe, Army, you've got the officials down there. Maybe you can give us the winner of this final round in Montgomery. Do you have any idea who won that race? From our viewpoint, we could not tell. I was too busy uh, thinking about stopping her. I mean, I really don't know. Jim Craner's back into the truck. We just received word that Steve Dane was the official winner. I've been running with Jim. I raced him so many times. I never had a chance to beat him. He, to me, he seems unbeatable. Whenever you're running uh, Steve Dane, well, you got to run hard. He runs hard. We're going to close now by showing you some of the wilder action from 1988. For Army Armstrong, I'm Richard Leake. We'll see you again on the tracks across America. Join us next time for Power Tracks, the most powerful sport on earth. Brought to you by TNT Motorsports.